but I don't play very many games in general. Like I just watch anime and I edit videos alone in my room until like fucking two in the morning. How's it going guys? Can't anime here and welcome back to another anime tier list video. In this video, what we're going to be doing is a fate servant tier list. Now I made a video on the fate series quite a while back and um, yeah, I'm a huge fan of the fate series, huge fan of the fate universe. I love fate. I love tight moon, you know, the whole shebang I'm a big fan of. And this video, like I said, we're going to do a fate servant tier list. I'm probably going to do a fate character tier list, you know, like Rin and Sakura and Shinji, etc. And that'll probably be down the line because, you know, the fate characters are a big part of the fate universe. But really, people want to see servants. And I really think it'd be more fun to rank the servants rather than the main characters. Either way, without further ado, let's get right into it. Before we do that, though, if you are not subscribed, please, please, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. We recently hit 200 subscribers and it would be insane if we could go for 300 subscribers, hopefully before the school year starts, because I'll be going to college and I probably won't be able to post once every three days like I've been doing. So if we can hit 300 subs by that time, it'd be insane. Truly would mean the world to me. Anyway, let's get right into the tier list. Alright, so first things first, we have Saber, easily a fan favorite when it comes to servants and fake characters in general. Honestly, I'm going to put Saber in S tier. I mean, I'm sure that's a pretty basic opinion and everyone would agree with that. But honestly, what can you say? Saber is genuinely one of the best fake characters, one of the best fate servants. I love fate, you love fate, one of the most franchisable characters. And believe me, there are definitely more Sabers coming up on this tier list. But of all of them, King Arthur Saber, definitely top tier. All right, next up we have Archer or Emiya as he grows older. Probably the most controversial opinion on this list. I'm going to have to put Archer in C tier. I don't hate Archer. I think he's kind of cool in some aspects. I just don't really like his personality type. Like I, I get what he brings to the story is that I guess edgy feel that adds to it. I'm not a big fan of it personally. I much rather prefer just Emiya showing up or like most other servants even the servants with very little screen time I prefer more than Archer I don't know just for being a main character servant I feel like he definitely lacks a, a good portion but he's not terrible he's just you know kind of C tier mid for me sorry if you disagree all right next up we have Astolfo of Fate Apocrypha I mean I didn't want to have to do this but I'm gonna put Astolfo on S tier I mean there's not really much to say it's just for the memes but yeah, I mean, Astolfo is generally a pretty cool character. Like, I know the whole like trap meme is really funny, but as a character, Astolfo probably had the most of all of Fate Apocrypha and was one of the very few likable characters. I don't know, Fate Apocrypha for me was very mid and Astolfo definitely brought that up a little bit. And all I'm saying is I definitely would. All right, next up we have King Gilgamesh, except this is the Fate Grand Order Babylonia version of him. So a little bit different than the normal Gilgamesh we're used to. In full honesty, I didn't even finish Fate Grand Order Babylonia. I dropped it about midway through because I just wasn't a big fan of it. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, I love Fate. But for me, Fate is just Fate Zero, Fate Stay Night, Unlimited Blade Works, Heaven's Feel. Like that's like the Fate pathway. And then everything else is spinoffs, which is common knowledge. But all the spinoffs I really kind of look down on compared to the actual Fate timeline because it's just so much better. But I still like Gilgamesh as a character, one of my favorite servants. And I don't know, I'm going to put him in B tier. I know he could probably be A tier in some people's eyes, but I don't think he's anywhere near as good as the like original Fate timeline Gilgamesh. So yeah, B tier for me. All right, next up we have the Fate Zero Lancer. Honestly, it's kind of hard to take him seriously after watching Carnival Phantasm and today's menu with the Emiya family. He's just kind of a meme character. And honestly, I, one of the things I love about Lancer is that he is that kind of meme jokey character and him getting constantly shit on in those two spinoffs is genuinely hilarious. And I do think he's actually a pretty cool character. You know, obviously in the main Fate series, he's kind of iffy at some parts, but as far as like a comedy character goes, I actually like him quite a bit and because this is purely based on my personal opinion i'm gonna put lancer in a tier he's actually pretty cool you know i do like him as a character obviously as a servant he's kind of eh but as a funny jokey character a tier all right next up we have gilgamesh the fate zero fate stay night era now i know gilgamesh is quite different when it comes to fate zero gilgamesh and then fate stay night gilgamesh and i much prefer fate stay night gilgamesh but either way gilgamesh has got to be s tier for me I don't know he's just a really solid character genuinely like a badass villain he's not the best written villain in like fate zero for example but fate slay Knight, i think he adds a lot of character he's a lot more of an opposing force and he's just genuinely cooler easily just like a badass right and he just like his design his abilities everything's just so cool 
He's like, like I said, just, it's hard to describe. He's just cool. All right, next up, we have Berserker of Fate Stay Night, the Hercules version. He's definitely a lot better as Berserker than the, um, what was it, the Camelot dude in the, in the Fate Stay Night series, but Berserker, he's kind of just there. I don't know. I'm going to put him in C tier, but I definitely still liked him as a character. But if he was talking about like Ilias feel, right? I pref I love Ilias feel and Berserker is a cool contrast to Ilias feel, but he's kind of like Archer. doesn't have a lot of character. Although I will say that the fight between Gilgamesh and Berserker is one of my favorites of Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works. So C tier for me, but I still like him a lot. All right, next up, we have Ishtar of Fate Grand Order Babylonia. Again, didn't finish it, but I did like Ishtar quite a bit. I think just because I love Rin, and when I didn't watch Fate at the very beginning, I was like, oh yeah, that's just Rin, but she became a servant or something. But yeah, Ishtar is a cool character just because it reminds me so much of Rin, and obviously the personality type is very similar as well as the design. So for me, Ishtar goes in B tier because Grand Order was kind of just a B tier anime. But I will say that Ishtar is probably one of my favorite character designs. I don't know what it is, just really unique look for one of the female characters of Fate. Obviously, Fate as a whole has incredible character design because it's a really, you know, fantasy series that you can kind of play around with different characters and you can base certain stuff on like history, etc. But I think Ishtar, I don't know, her design just really appeals to me. So yeah, B tier for me, love her. All right, next up we have Alexander the Great of Fate Zero. Probably one of the cooler servants in my opinion. I don't know, I feel like he kind of got shafted in Fate Zero, but I do think that he was actually a really inspiring servant. I thought his Noble Phantasm was actually a really cool scene. Not as broken as some of the others are, but it was really cool to see his little like reality marble go into action. Um, I do think that he was a cool, like remember that scene where it was Saber and Gilgamesh and Alexander the Great and Saber's like, oh no, the king for people, whatever. And then Alexander the Great's like, stop being a fucking bitch, like be a good king. I love that scene. Fucking love Alexander the Great. For me, A tier. All right, next up, we have Joan of Arc of Fate Apocrypha. I kind of see why people like her, but I don't really get the hype over her. I like her design. I like her character in general, but I don't think she's like an S tier character. And I think a lot of people kind of overhype her as a whole. And keep in mind, I don't really play Fate Go at all. Like I I've played it a couple times and I've downloaded it multiple times and then deleted it multiple times because I'm just not a really big gotcha game player. I just, I don't spend money on games even though I, you know, I'm so into anime that I obviously played gacha games before and I do occasionally pick up a gacha game here and there, but I don't play very many games in general. Like I just watch anime and I edit videos alone in my room until like fucking two in the morning, but Fake goes fun. Uh, but that's like one of the games that really brings up a lot of different characters in some people's opinions. So I can't tell if that's why people like her so much or just because her character reminds us so much of like Saber and she is a pretty cool character, but for me, B tier. I kind of get it, but I don't really get it. So yeah, she's cool. All right, next up, we have the assassin from Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works and, and also Fate Stay Night, the servant to caster. He is kind of just mid, I don't know, C tier. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put him in D tier, not because I don't like him, but because he just doesn't have that much character as a whole. And I kind of have to put something in D tier. He is still cool. And I really like that his Noble Phantasm was something really simple, like just the three blade. It's obviously weak, but it's cool to see in in practice and it's actually a pretty cool thought so i did like that aspect to him and he's very like a noble i want to fight you like head on saber so i liked him but he's kind of just there doesn't have a lot of character is a servant of a servant so d tier for me all right next up we have mash of fate grand order babylonia again one of those characters that i really don't get why she's so popular correct me if i'm wrong but of the fake Grand Order, so okay, so I should say this before I go any further. I haven't watched any of the fake Grand Order movies. I know there are like three of them, and one of them has just come out this season. I just don't get the appeal of fake Grand Order that much. Again, I'm not a player of the video games, and I've only ever played Fate Stay Night, the visual novel, so I'm not a big fan of like the other Type Moon visual novels. Although, like I said, I'm a big fan of Type Moons like Karuno Kyokai and Tsukihime, so I like Type Moon. I'm just not a big game player, like I said earlier on, and I feel like MASH is a really popular character in the video game and the movies, and I just don't see the appeal. I'm going to put MASH in, I don't know, I don't I don't want to put her in D tier. I think that's going to make people angry, but I will put her in C tier because I don't hate MASH. I think she's fine, but she's not anything special. She's kind of cool. I like her design a lot, and I like that she has the big shield, but overall, she's kind of just a, a mid-tier servant. Not bad in any way, but nothing remarkable about her. All right, next up, we have writer or medusa of the fate stay night series i like her quite a bit you know i feel like she doesn't get as much praise as she deserves as a side character and i actually watched fate stay night element blade works before i watched the studio dean fate stay night and i had no idea she was medusa or writer 
And then I watched Fates of the Night and I was like, oh, they make it a lot more obvious who she is. And even in Heaven's Feel, she uses like her like Medusa power. Um, either way, I think she's pretty cool. I'm gonna put her in B tier. Um, she's a nice addition and I actually like her being Sakura's servant but she's not anything like overly special, like I said. Although I do like her, I like her design and I like her overall character. All right, next up we have Saber of Red, Modred, the quote unquote daughter of Saber. I actually like her quite a bit. I think I, I love her voice. That's who I wanted Jolene's voice actor to be, but I actually do like the, uh, what's her name? I Aferzo, I forget her name, put her up on screen. She's fucking gorgeous. And I'm totally happy with her being Jolene's voice actor. But um, what's her name? Sawashiro Miyuki, Miyuki Sawashino. She's the voice actor for Modred and I really love that voice for her. I think Modred is actually a pretty sick character. I just think that that whole like tomboy aspect really helps uh, Fate Apocrypha. And I mentioned before that Fate Apocrypha doesn't have the best characters, but Modred is definitely one of the characters that brings it up. And you know, her death was sad to see and overall, I think she's an A tier character. I do like her quite a bit, like her voice, like her design. Overall, great. All right, and next we have Caster of Fate Zero, who comes back in Fate Apocrypha. I forget what hero he's supposed to be. He's 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 F tier. I'm gonna I'm gonna put F tier. I don't know. He's kind of just there. Again, I don't really like him. I like that he had like the giant octopus shit that Saber used her Phantasm on for the first time. Um, but again, he's, he's just kind of there. I don't know. F tier for me. Moving on. All right, and next we have yet another caster of Fate Stain Knight. She was a bitch <laughs> as a character, but she was actually a cooler villain and one of the best casters of the Fate universe. I like her quite a bit as a villain, that is. But as a character, I mean, I'll put her in C tier. She's kind of cool, and I like her backstory with um, Sorichiro was the guy's name. I like how she was like kind of in love and kind of crazy. Um, I don't think I liked her as much in the Fate Stay Night of Studio Dean. Like that pathway of hers wasn't my favorite, but in Fate Stay Night, I liked her because she wasn't as major and Gilgamesh was still like the big bad, but she was there and I didn't hate her being there. I'm gonna put her in B tier. All right, and last but not least, we have Nero of Fate Extra Last Encore. I really did not like Fate Extra Last, La Fate Extra Last Encore. It was fine, but Nero was one of the few characters that made it not completely awful, but she's still kind of mid, and I'm gonna put her in C tier for just kind of being there like most of the other characters on this list. All right, so that's it for the characters that I picked. Obviously, I passed up on a lot of the characters in Fate Apocrypha, Fate Grand Order, Fate fucking every other Fate that there is, because a lot of them just really aren't that important. And I see that on a couple people from Fate Zero, Fate Stay Night, because again, just not that big characters, and I'd probably put them all in like C, D, F tier. Either way, recap time. So in S tier, we have Saber, Astolfo, and Gilgamesh of Fate Zero, Fate Stay Night. In A tier, we have Lancer of Fate Stay Night. King Arthur and Mordred. In B tier, we have Grand Order Gilgamesh, Ishtar, Joan of Arc, Ryder, and Caster. In C tier, we have Archer, Berserker, Mash, and Nero. In D tier, we have Assassin of Fate Stay Night. And in F tier, we have Caster of Fate Zero. Now, you know, I rank these characters on personal opinion, not necessarily how cool of a servant they are or like how powerful they are, anything like that. I probably won't do any tier lists that are like completely serious most of them will just be my opinion what i think and i'm, I'm definitely going to do more character tier list like this in the future i just figured fate as a series would be a good start because i love fate and they have a fucking huge plethora of characters and servants and really cool characters in my opinion so this was a pretty easy tier list to do obviously i kind of had to space it out so they weren't all s tier because like i said for most of these tier lists i have to fill out the list and Oftentimes, a lot of these characters would be bumped up a tier list or two if it came to just my objective opinion. Either way, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, definitely make sure to subscribe, comment down below, leave a like, you know the drill, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.